We've been hearing a lot about the upcoming Tesla Model S and the new Plaid. And finally, details have been revealed. There is going to be two versions of the Plaid and a whole lot more changes coming to the Model S. Here's a first look at the refreshed and updated Model S that is set to debut next month in February of 2021. Starting with the outside, the new Model S looks almost identical to the current Model S. The front bumper has been refreshed slightly, there's a lip on the bottom that protrudes more, but outside of that, it pretty much looks the same. Now, some earlier spy photos show that the Model S is also wider with a wider track, but that has been unconfirmed. Now, moving to the inside, that's where Tesla gutted everything and started over, and the end result is simply amazing. First thing you'll notice is the vertical screen is gone, and it's replaced with a huge horizontal screen, just like the Model 3 and Model Y. But unlike the Model 3 and Model Y, the new screen is bigger, 17 inches, and according to Tesla, it has a lot higher resolution, it has improved responsiveness, and brighter colors. And just like the previous Model S, a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster will be above the steering wheel. And speaking of steering wheels, take a look at what's inside a Model S. The steering wheel has like a half shape and it looks like the ones you find on a go-kart, honestly. The great thing about it is it doesn't block your view of the digital gauge cluster anymore or what's in front of you. However, holding on to the 10 and 2 spot is no longer possible. And also the stocks behind the steering wheel are gone. And you can see that turn signal, light switches, and other functions have all been moved to the steering wheel itself. So why did Tesla create such a weird looking steering wheel? Well, it's obvious that Tesla wants people to start relying less on the steering wheel and more on FSD, especially as it improves. However, until then, it's questionable if drivers will like this new steering wheel and if they will adapt to it. Just like before, there are three interior colors, black on black, white on black, and cream on black. To me, they all look pretty good. And from the side view, you can see the pair of wireless chargers underneath the screen. The center console looks very similar to the redesigned one for the Model 3. And the door handles and grab handles are more traditional. And from this top view, you can see the roof being all glass, just like the 3 and the Y. Moving to the back, you can see the sports seat setup along with the new screen for rear passengers. Now it'll be really easy to entertain the kids with games and Netflix without them using the main screen. Now as for the trim levels, the base Model S will be long range and quite honestly the performance is pretty amazing already. 412 miles per charge, top speed 155 miles per hour, and 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Just so you know, that is faster than the performance variant of the Model 3 or the performance variant of the Model Y. Now the performance variant of the Model S is no more. Now there are two plaids to choose from, both with tri-motors. The base plaid costs $120,000 and does 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds. Top speed 200 miles per hour and a range of 390 miles. And if that doesn't throw you enough, for $20,000 more, you could opt for the Plaid Plus. This will give you 520 miles of range and 0 to 60, that's under 1.99 seconds. According to Tesla, the Plaid will be the fastest accelerating production car ever in history. This is measuring both 0 to 60 and quarter mile times. The new Model S Plaid, even the base one, will out accelerate a Bugatti Giron. According to Elon, during the Q4 earnings call, the new Model S is already in production and delivery will start in February of 2021. And by the way, the Model X with the same interior will be coming out shortly after that. In case you want to see just how fast the Model S Plaid is, click above right now to check out this video of the Plaid lapping Laguna Seca in 1 minute and 30 seconds. So what are your thoughts on the new Model S, the Model S Plaid, and the Plaid Plus? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more Tesla news. And in the meantime, check out these other videos.